Barbie, you can be five minute stories. Barbie, you can be a chef. One Saturday, Barbie and Mickey visited their favorite food truck, Chef Howie's Fancy Mac. Mmm, Barbie said, taking a big bite of her macaroni and cheese. This is so delicious. Barbie's best friend, Mickey, agreed. Chef Howie's Fancy Mac is the best, she exclaimed. It's so sweet and creamy, and I think I taste garlic, too, Barbie guessed. You know what, Barbie said suddenly, I'm going to make Fancy Mac for us tomorrow. Mickey's eyes twinkled. Yum, count me in. I'll bring Teresa. At the grocery store the next morning, Barbie looked at the different cheeses. There were so many. Hmm, which one does Chef Hallie use, she wondered. After a while, she chose Rockfort cheese, which sounded very fancy. At home, Barbie scrunched her nose and said, this cheese smells really strong. Maybe I picked the wrong one. She glanced up at the clock. Her friends would be over soon. There was still a lot to do. Mm, maybe when I mix in the milk, the cheese won't be so smelly, she said hopefully and set the timer. When Nikki and Teresa arrived, they couldn't wait to taste Barbie's fancy mac. Teresa tried hers first. Mmm, creamy, she said. Then she stopped smiling. Nikki tasted a forkful too. It's, it's nice, she said unconvincingly. What, it's not good, Barbie asked. No, it's fine, Barbie, Teresa said, trying to smile. It's interesting. Barbie took a bite and spit it out immediately. This isn't interesting, this is terrible. It's not that bad, Barbie, Teresa said. I mean, it's really creamy. Maybe you just used the wrong cheese or something. Barbie nodded. There's more to cooking than I thought. Tomorrow, I'm going to ask Chef Hallie if she'll teach me how to make her fancy mac. The next day, Barbie explained to Chef Hallie how her fancy mac had been a failure. You use Rockfort cheese, the chef asked, surprised. A cheese with a fancy name isn't what makes my fancy mac so good. What does then, Barbie asked. If you come by the Horizon Senior Center where I volunteer as a chef, I'll teach you the recipe, Chef Hallie said. That would be amazing, said Barbie. Thank you. The next day, Barbie stood in Chef Hallie's busy kitchen at the Senior Center. She was ready to start making delicious fancy mac. Barbie grabbed a wooden spoon from the counter. All set, she exclaimed. Not so fast, Chef Hallie told her. Before you cook, bake, chop, dice, or boil anything in my kitchen, you need to learn Chef Hallie's kitchen rules. She pointed to a sign that hung above the ovens. Barbie studied the sign carefully. She saw that rules were created to keep everyone in the kitchen safe. That night, Barbie went over to Chef Hallie's kitchen rules in her head. Then she read through the list of ingredients in the Fancy Mac recipe until she came to the words spinach and onions. Spinach and onions, she said. That's strange. I don't remember tasting spinach or onions. Then the recipe listed one bay leaf. And I'm pretty sure I've never seen a bay leaf in Chef Hallie's Fancy Mac, Barbie said. When she felt she knew the recipe by heart, she slipped the card back into her bag and turned off the light. The next day, Barbie recited all the rules to Chef Hallie. Very good, said the chef. Here are the ingredients for the fancy mac. Do you remember what we do first? Barbie smiled. We boiled water for pasta, she announced confidently. Are you sure, Chef Hallie asked. It's okay if you need to look at the recipe. Barbie shook her head. That's okay. I know it, she replied. Wait, she cried. First we preheat the oven, then we boil the water. Chef Hallie grinned and motioned for Barbie to start. Preheating the oven, Barbie called out excitedly. Boiling the water for the pasta, Barbie announced next. Measuring the ingredients and greasing the baking dish. Barbie felt like a real chef as she worked next to Chef Hallie and her assistants in the kitchen. She stirred pasta in the enormous pot. Careful, Barbie said, hot pot coming through. Barbie's favorite part of cooking was chopping the onions, even though the strong fumes made her eyes tear up. Do I look like I'm crying? She asked through her tears. Yes, you do, Chef Hallie replied with a laugh. Chef Hallie asked, what's the next step? I memorized the recipe last night, Barbie said. 
Barbie, you don't need to memorize the recipes, Chef Hallie told her. Cooking's about taking your time and checking your steps along the way. Even I keep my recipes right here in my apron pocket. Now take a peek at your recipe and see what's next. Bobby relaxed and read the card. It's time to add the cheese, she announced. She and the assistant chef Allison added it to the pasta, poured the mixture into baking dishes, and sprinkled breadcrumbs on top. It's ready to go in the oven, Barbie announced. Are you sure, Chef Hallie? Barbie checked her recipe card. I'm sure, she replied. That smells delicious, Barbie, Chef Hallie said when they pulled the trays of fancy mac from the oven. Thanks, Barbie replied, and this time it looks just like yours. Let's head into the dining room then, Chef Hallie said, and see if it tastes as good as it looks. Surprise, Barbie's friends shouted when she stepped into the dining room. Barbie gasped, what are you guys doing here? Chef Hallie invited us, Nikki told her. We can't wait to try your fancy mac, said Teresa. Barbie held her breath as everyone took a bite. This tastes amazing, Barbie exclaimed Nikki. Just then, Raquel, who was also volunteering at the senior center, appeared at her table. What's this fancy mac everyone keeps raving about, she asked. Why don't you try it for yourself, replied Barbie. Raquel took a bite of the mac and cheese and smiled. Mmm, she said and stopped. What is it, Raquel, Barbie asked. Raquel slowly opened her mouth and pulled out a bay leaf. Oh no, Barbie cried. I forgot to take out the bay leaf. Chef Hallie leaned in and whispered, no worries, Barbie. That happens to professional chefs too, myself included. Barbie laughed. Step nine, she read from the card, says remove the bay leaf. You can be a great chef, said Chef Hallie. Dear Chef Hallie, it was so much fun learning how to make fancy mac with you at the senior center. I can't believe how much there is to know about being a chef. Thank you for everything you taught me. Maybe you can show me how to cut onions without crying. Ha ha. And I promise the next time I make Fancy Mac, I'll remember to take out the bay leaf. Your friend, Barbie.